Thanks for watching and this video is for the 2021 Tesla Model 3 and the way that it's been designed is way easier than the previous version. You're gonna need this tool right here. This is what they call plastic body panel clip removal tool. You're gonna need these two. The T20 is what you use and this is what they look like. And the good thing about the filter on this car is that it's really easy to get to. Apparently, there's only that one screw down here and then there's a clip up there, I think. So the other versions, they have a torque screw at the very top, impossible to get to. So I'm gonna hopefully do my best and get this out of the way. Now I already removed the panel, the kick panel on top, and the side panel here using these body clips. And they made it very easy to pull these fasteners out without damaging them. So this is important because you don't wanna break these. I mean, you could definitely break them if you want but then you have to replace them. So it's better not to break them at all. So with the little blunt end, you're gonna pull this out and it pops out, right? And you can just, like, it's got like a little a slot right there so where it fits. And you get just enough and you can use the fork end to take that off. And it's, it's easy, you know, take that off and that's it. And that's really all you need. Uh, you could probably pop out the clip with the other side. And that's that and you could probably use it like this pop it off this fits too this will fit not an issue and in fact that's what I do for all the other clips and there's one also right here so you know take your time don't force these clips they come off really easily and if you break them I'm sure you can get replacements fortunately for me I did not break any that's how you install them you pop the little tricky thingy and that's that yeah. Now, obviously, I'm doing this with one hand because the other hand I'm using to hold the camera. Yeah, like I said, other videos I saw showed this on the very bottom, and this just clips off like that. Now, for removal time. What a pain in the butt! Okay, that's why. So this is not easy to remove. Okay, so the top one should have been done first and then the second one should be done after. Ooh, it's dirty. Dirty! <laughs> so these two filters are stacked like this. One goes in first and goes down in the bottom. And this one goes in right on top of that. Now this has a arrow, it's directional. So think of that arrow pointing towards the driver's side compartment or passenger compartment. Lower, lower, lower. That's cool, that's that. And Easy, 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 huh? Easy. So then, I want this. Ah, uh, this way, yes, this way. That's that. This goes in here. Now one thing that I find interesting is that not the entire chassis has sound deadening material. Interesting. So it gives me some room to put more of my own to get the ride even more quieter. That's that for that. Now I'm going to install the plastic panel, cover this up, and then you're gonna see how it looks with it. I need to vacuum my car also. So the part where you put the panel back on to the tunnel, I guess you could call it a transmission tunnel, but there is no transmission. There is clips that when you remove the panel, they are stuck on the metal bracket or the plastic bracket on the car end. You need to take that clip out. It's tiny little plastic clip and you need to put them onto the panel itself. And when you insert the panel back onto the chassis, it's gonna line up. If you don't do that, 
The clips do not line up to the tabs on the panel and the tabs push the clips through the mounting port and the clips flaw inside. You're not gonna be able to get them out. Use a needle nose pliers or a pick set, take the clip out of the car side, install that clip to the panel on the tab and put those all at the same time into the rectangle where they fit. Um, I was trying to get a video of it, but it's dark. I think you guys have figured out the clips are white. You'll see them. They're inside a rectangle receptacle or something like that. You'll see it. When you pull the panel off, make sure all the clips are removed as well. Put all the clips under the panel. Very important. Do not mess this up. Doesn't look like anything happened. Just good as new. And now I have really clean air coming through my cabin. And for those of you who are curious, I got these Amazon special... 3D scan rubber molded floor mats. They work really well. They fit nice. I guess there's some gaps. People were concerned about this, I guess, the binding. But they're floor mats. They're not gonna be anything special. They serve their purpose. So when it rains, you bring your muddy shoes into here and it doesn't bother anybody. It doesn't bother me, I don't care. It dries up, I just take them out, shake them off. I guess I could wash them with soap and water, but it's not important. It's a utility car, right? I use it every day.